Hello and welcome and this is the uh, final product that we have of our social website so you can see it in action from scratch. So let's create a new account. I'm going to click on the sign up button and then I'm going to create a name John Captain Gender Male. So of course we're going to use John Captain at gmail.com the password one two three four just for testing one two three four and let's sign up okay so now that we've signed up we can log in using john captain at gmail.com one two three four and we are logged in so let's see new profile john captain so john captain isn't following anyone uh, the about section is empty he has no followers no following no photos and his settings are right here where he can change them all right so so far so good uh, I will follow myself as John captain one follower there then I can search for people so let me just type something here and search for people to follow and there we go we have a few results there so let me go to this profile and let me follow this guy and he's following this one so let me go to mary as well and follow mary as well so she has two followers now and then if i go to my timeline now i have posts from these guys so now let me add a post my first post as john Right. Let me add an image to that post as well, just to see the capabilities or the possibilities here. Hey, where we go? Let me add this over cartoon. There we go. So now we have a post with an image. So in this post, I can like this post. Now we have one like, so I can click to see who has liked. Very good and then i can comment on this post uh, i'll say something like this is a nice cartoon okay and post so i have a comment down here which is awesome i can view the full image awesomeness not only that now i can uh, add me a uh, profile photo so let me change the cover image first let me browse so change the cover image let me find something more appealing uh, in a folder there should be a folder where I have uh, people right so let me come here I like uh, this image so let me just get this image and change there we go so now I have a nice uh, image background let me change the profile image browse okay so I can choose any of these images over here eh, doesn't really matter only images of JPEG are allowed so this one is disqualified for some reason so let's look for something more qualified I guess there we go so now we have those people there and this is my post updated his profile image updated his cover image and this is the post that i had created so i can view the full image here there we go also i can view the full image there there we go all right so, so far so good, everything is working as planned and I have followers here now, a list of followers that I'm following. So it's a fully fledged uh, social website up to this point because the only thing remaining that I've remembered, if I go to photos, now that I have some photos, I can't actually click on these photos to give them, um, to take them to a particular uh, place. So. I can do that real quick it's not a, a big deal if I go to my um, 
what's this uh, profile content photos that's the file that we are looking for so right here where there's this image all we need to do is add a link here so i'm going to echo a link and put a href is equal to oops sorry i will duplicate that and then move it over down and then just close the a tag like so and then in here all i have to do is say single underscore post dot php and then question mark id is equal to and then now i can add an id all right so image row right there because post id is actually being queried there so i can use it here so post id close bracket and that's it so once we've done that if i refresh the page oh there's a syntax error so i missed something here okay so it's because i didn't add a semicolon at the end same as this one here all right so let's refresh and then now if i click on this image it takes me to the actual post of the image which is pretty cool and any of these will do exactly the same with one comment and I can edit this if I want go back and I can delete this if I want and hit delete all right so everything seems to be working just fine so I hope you have learned something so far up to this point that you didn't know when you started the tutorial all right so I will see you in future tutorials if I'm going to add any anytime soon all right see you then